all right so for this video okay first of all welcome to the video so for this video I'm gonna show you the basics of boxing uh, I'm gonna show you four different things you should uh, always start with um, if you don't know nothing about boxing well here's what you want to start off with you don't want to start off where you know all those mid work you see on Instagram and people doing all the little fucking combos and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you pretty much what you have to start with uh, we're gonna do shadow boxing, jump roping, waist movement, and pretty much get in the bag. And little by little, I'll start uploading other videos, uh, conditioning pretty much, getting ready, you know, when you get ready for a fight or whatever. Um, anybody could do this uh, home. You could do it at home. You don't have to go to a boxing gym. If you don't have a, a bag, I mean, I understand, but um, you could do this at home as long as you have everything necessary um job rope everything but yeah let's get this video rolling yeah all right so we're gonna start off with shadow boxing when it comes to boxing everybody skips this first step uh because to be honest it's one of the most boring things ever but it's one of the most important things ever um do you want to get get at your jab or just like walking your stands and everything you always have to start with shadow boxing. It could be the most simplest shadow boxing ever. So we're gonna start off by first you gotta know the position you're supposed to stand in. You know my my dominant arm is my right. If you're a softball, you're gonna stand this way. So this is gonna be your jab. This is gonna be your power punch. So for me, it's gonna be this side. Normally, everybody is a righty, so it's, it's really rare when somebody's a soft spot, but you know, however you feel comfortable, so yeah, look at that first. So, what you're going to start with is first, boxing guard, like this. Left hand up here, right hand right here, all times. Left foot up front, don't be too flat footed. Make sure your knee is a bit bent, like this. Your right foot, you're gonna want it right here. Tippy toe, pretty much. Slight bend as well. Slight bend, like this. Don't stand straight, like this. Right leg, a little bit toward, towards the right. Don't keep it, don't keep it, don't keep your body straight. You have a little bend, like this. So, for your jab, shadow. If you have a mirror at home, you know, it's always better than you see yourself. But if you don't, I mean, it still works. So, jab. You're just gonna start with this four rounds. So, beginners, four rounds, three minute rounds uh, with a 30 second break. You can put the, uh, you can use a timer. We got the ring, the ring bell right here, but you can use a timer. So, we're gonna do this. Jab. 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 When you get to the front, you're gonna walk to the back. Skipping all the time. Little jump. Same. Jab. You don't have to. Jump. Like this. A lot of people do that. What you're gonna do is just slight. Slightly move to the front. Very good job. Make sure you always do a full stretch. Don't go right here. You see my arm? A lot of people do this. This, this. No. It's supposed to be boom, boom, boom. So, again, remember. Straight, 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 straight. Always keep your guard up. Stop. Okay. Alright, so you always want to start with shadow boxing. Just we're gonna start off just by this because it is the basics pretty much. 
So I always start with shadow boxing. Then we're gonna move on to some waist movement. You can, I'm gonna do this on the ring, but if you have something just like a pole to pole at home, just like to put your ring, you can do it at home. But right here we have the luxury to have this ring, so I'm gonna show you this next. All right, so for the next workout, we're gonna do waist movement. Uh, if you have two poles at home, if you could just like put a string from side to side. Uh, right here we have the ring, so we're gonna use the ring, but anywhere at home, that works for you. So you could just put a string from side to side. And as long as it's around your, your shoulder, shoulder length right here, shoulder height. So for this movement, we're gonna start you can start anywhere, but pretty much what we're gonna do is get into your uh, boxing position right here. Boxing position. What we're gonna do is waist movement. No punching, nothing else, just simple waist movement. Because remember, this is basics. Once you start learning more, you start adding punches, you know, shadow boxing makes it a little bit more. So, boxing position, we're not gonna do this. You have to make, you have to move your waist so it's like a little curve. So, like this. Take a step. You see my legs and my feet? Every time I'm moving my waist, I'm also moving my feet. Coming in and out. Exact move you're gonna do. All right, four rounds. Three minute rounds. Boom. Boom. Come completely up. Boom. 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 Get all the way to the front, you skip back. So you're gonna do that for four rounds, three minute rounds, 30 second break as well. Well, if you're a beginner, four rounds, because uh, for people that are already starting, it is kind of hard, it is, it is tiring. It doesn't look tiring, but it is pretty tiring. So four rounds, if you already have some conditioning, you work out or whatever, six rounds. Six rounds of shadow boxing, six rounds of this. So we're gonna go on to the next workout right now. All right, so for our third round of uh, basics we're going to do a jump rope as well there's a lot of fighters that usually say jump roping is not good or they just don't do it at all we've seen this a lot in a lot of cases but some people say it's not important um, I think it's really important because it's really good for your footwork and it's just really good conditioning and it's a great cardio so for beginners as well four rounds three minute uh, rounds uh, 30 second break so pretty much, just get any kind of rope. Um, I use Buddy Lee ropes. Uh, my length is around, because I'm already got some experience on jump roping, so mine's pretty short. But normally, the your jump ropes will reach you right here from your handles. So 
remember always do jump rope. Um, this is gonna be your third, your third workout in your. Uh, it's gonna be your third workout for your uh, for your boxing session. So pretty much simple. Start simple. Just. Three minutes straight, 30 second break, four rounds. Let your body loose, just focus on the rhythm. Finish this, you do four rounds, 30 second break, then you move on to the next workout. So, on to the next one. Uh, fourth workout, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna skip around the ring. If you have, do like a little sport at home as well. Or you go to like a USC gym, I mean, they have boxing rings, so you can use them there, or like a 24, just make like a little square where you could like go around. So pretty much right here, we're gonna skip around the whole ring. This might seem like something that's not important. A lot of people think it's not important. They're like, they're just like, what am I doing right now, you know? But everything connects for a reason. So box, pretty much boxing position right here. We're gonna skip to the sides. Stay as close, as close as you can to the ropes. So we're gonna go like this. Switch. Always keep your boxing position as well. Not as straight as when you're doing, not as straight as when you're doing shadow boxing or anything else. But always try to keep your left on front and your right on the back. Keep your arms up. Keep your car up all the time. Side. Once in a while, do all the ring. Alright, so you're gonna do that four rounds as well. Three minutes, 30 second break. Uh, beginners. Four rounds, people that have condition already, six rounds, and we're gonna finish off with a little bit of back work. So, <laughs> it's hard because <laughs> not everybody has a uh, bag at home, but I mean, most gyms have them now, so um, just get yourself some nice gloves. We sell them here, you know, you know, just hit me up, got them for sale, but uh, yeah, so pretty much beginners again. We're gonna do only. Our, we're only gonna do our jab and our right. So pretty much just to start, remember just move, boxing position all the time. Just practice this. Move around a little bit. Jab, jab, jab. Jab. Remember, when you hit the back, full stretch on your arm, just like when you're doing shadow. Don't go here and go close like this. You want to like slingshot. Also remember, when you throw your jab, always keep your right hand on top because people normally throw the jab or throw any other punch and do this right here. They drop their right hand. You're dropping on your guard. Remember always. Jab. 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 So jabs only. Three rounds. Jab. Move a little bit. Jab.
Так. After your second round, we're gonna add just a one, two. So jab once in a while. Boom. 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 One, two. Remember, always waist movement so you can add a little bit more power to your punches. Don't just, don't do this. You see how weak my punch is coming out right here? So, when you send the right way, you add some waist to it, your, part, your punch comes out better. So, don't do this either. Staying too straight, no power in your punches. See a difference? The difference to this. Stand right, boxing position, use your waist. Pretty much you're gonna do four rounds, just like this. Remember, you're gonna start off with your jab only. Before you get to doing all your combinations, you know, all the crazy stuff you see on Instagram or just like other people doing, remember you can't go from A to Z. So first, one, two, or just your jab. Before you want to do all this. So first practice your jab and your one, two. Then we'll move on to all the other stuff, hooks, uppercuts, you know, body shots and everything. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with this video. So I'll do the outro a little, in a little bit. Okay, all right, so this is gonna be it for this video. Um, if you like this content, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let me let me know what you want to see more. Uh, pretty much, it is the basics and the fundamentals of boxing. I know it's not much like how could I say it's not like all that little fancy stuff, but that's what you want to learn first. You can't just jump into like all the crazy and stuff that you see out there. So I recommend you to, I recommend you to actually try all of this stuff first and get used to this like for at least a month before like you start adding all the like crazy stuff, you know? Nowadays it's easy just to see something on Instagram and think, I mean, you could just walk in the gym and they're gonna show you that right off the bat. Um, I used to train when I was small, I was like 13 years old, and pretty much shadow boxing was the only thing they actually let us do. So we did shadow boxing for a whole straight month. Like they didn't let us touch the bags, no mitt works, no jump rope, anything. So uh, nowadays you go to a gym and what parents or just, you know, when they take a kid to a gym, the first thing parents want to see is the trainer. You know, put on some mitts, um, do some mitt work on them, let them hit the bag. But that's what parents want to see, but that's not what boxing is. That's my opinion. Not everybody's gonna have the same opinion because everybody trains their fighters a certain way. Uh, we train our fighters a certain way, so everybody has a different opinion. And um, just like everybody has their own style, every style works towards their, um, their movement, you know? So it's just like weights or anything, like diet or anything. It's all the same thing. So pretty much um, that's our style and that's what we think works. That's what I think works. So yeah, give it a try. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing more videos, pretty much like more advanced stuff. Um, i release those maybe like in two weeks or in a week, you know, just more movement, um, what you have to do after, you know, the basics. But never forget, never forget, you know, the beginning, you know. That's A, don't go from A to Z. And I'll catch you on the next one. So if you like this content, comment, like, subscribe. You already know, I'm out.